<laughs> Smile. So I'm all dolled up now, looking actually quite presentable. And I'm just going down to judge Mass SVC, which I'm so excited for. I've literally just run upstairs to quickly grab my charger. But I am judging Mass SVC for the second time, and I'm so excited because obviously this is where I started. Like this is my first show, and it's just cool that I get to judge it again. So. I'm really excited for it. I'm excited to see all the competitors and everything. So yeah, I'm just loving it. I'm loving being all judgy and I'm a judge, that's cool. So I'll see you in a bit. After a really, 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 really busy weekend of judging and running around doing posing classes and stuff like that, I finally like recovered from the weekend. It's now Tuesday today. And I, it re the weekend really hit me. Like yesterday, I was doing loads of check-ins and stuff, but today I've literally just had time to myself and just literally slept and relaxed because I've been so tired and I didn't realize how much the weekend actually caught up with me. Um, from being so busy and I thought it, I'd be fine but foot prep is in full swing now and I didn't realise like, how much it really hit me like I was so tired today so I've literally just been napping all day so but that's something you sometimes just need obviously I'm lucky because I don't work and I'm self-employed but obviously if you are working at other companies and stuff like that please make sure you obviously make time for yourself when you're on prep because sometimes it can really hit you and sleep and rest is really really important when you're in prep so making sure you have enough rest and recovery throughout your training and everything like from the weekend and stuff like that is really really vital in prep um, because <sighs> It really hit me today and I was literally like, I don't want to get out of bed. So I was like, do you know what, I'm not going to get out of bed because I don't have much to do today and luckily, like I said, I am self-employed so it wasn't too bad me just taking time off and plus it is a rest day for me so that's quite good in that respect. But I'm going to now give you a full update of me eight weeks out because from last time I hadn't been losing quite a lot of weight. Um, 
frequently like I, my weight kind of was like, stalling a little bit so I'm gonna give you on all an update on that because I know you're really excited so I'm just gonna all sit y'all down on Saturday I hit eight weeks out from my show in body power PCA so I am so excited and a lot of things that like, everything's kind of coming together now and I can see like all my progress and everything like that so last time you heard obviously my weight had gone up and it kind of did, well it had gone down and then it had gone up and then it stayed there so for me that was frustrating and I was like Phoebe don't be stupid like stop being like frustrated by the scales you know you look leaner and you know you look better so just ignore the scales for this point onwards and just keep going and I did and I'm glad I did because I'm now 62.2 so it's dropped within those last couple of days the last time I saw you and I can see loads of changes like my hamstrings are starting to coming through now like my shoulders are a lot more predominant my back's getting a lot more detail to it uh, my legs are coming through like, which is really really good my abs are coming through so everything is slowly but surely coming through which is really really good and I'm really happy because I'm just so excited to get back on stage like after judging mass which by the way was absolutely incredible i judged for the second year and it's so nice to go back to where you actually came from and it's nice to always remember where you came from as well like that was the first show i ever did and i won it and they came over all as well so it was really nice and they've always supported me so much so it was really nice to go back and, and judge everyone there this weekend and i just had a nice time and like everyone was so respectful and yeah the weekend just made me really really excited to get back on stage again so I'm so excited to get back on stage and it's just like when you go and watch shows especially when you're in prep as well always go watch shows because that gives you such a massive kick of motivation you will get like your down days and you're thinking why am I doing this and going watching a show or watching YouTube of like shows like this it literally gives you the biggest kick and it's just like I am so excited to do this now changes for my eight weeks out so my coach has now upped my cardio to 40 minutes six times a week and sprints eight rounds of sprints 20 seconds on 20 seconds off and he's lowered my fats like a little bit I pack all of my meals out with quite a lot of veg to get more volume by using sweet corn carrots courgettes broccoli salad stuff like that like that's stuff that I really like to use and one thing I've actually been obsessed with and I'm gonna get you is these these are my absolute favorite and I probably have one once a day so these are these are the sugar-free sh jelly sachets these are I think 13 calories the whole pack if you make a whole tub you can make a whole big tub of jelly like this and that's like cr like that sorts out my craving for the day so I have one of those one tub of jelly a day which the whole thing is 13 calories and I've obviously gone through it with coach and stuff and said am I allowed these and he said yes so you can get little pots as well but the little pots obviously themselves are like three calories but you probably have like you probably go through I'd say probably like five a day so it's more beneficial and more money saving to just get these and make them yourself so yeah like no added sugar sugar free jellies these are the best thing ever so but I'm literally just on my way to the gym now it's a rest day for me um so that means high fats for me today no look well very very low carbs today which I'm I'm handling fine my energy at eight weeks out is really really good like obviously the weekend hit me quite hard but at the moment I'm like my workouts are still really good like I hit a PB of 160 hack squat yesterday for nine and yeah it was hard but like my strength has never been this high and it's continuing to go up whilst I'm in prep. Obviously I know at some point I will have to sacrifice it a little bit, but for the moment, like I'm loving still being really strong and stuff. So I'm gonna carry on with it, because why not? Just about to go and do cardio now. So I will see you then. I am getting the worst case of prep brain. And if you don't know what prep brain is, then it is where you do little things that are just like stupid and you forget about things or you do something and you're like why the fuck did I do that that is what I've just done I basically I it's like quarter past one now and I was like oh I'm a bit hungry I've just had my first meal though like blah 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 I'll have my second meal it's fine open the microwave and my first meal was in the microwave already and I hadn't eaten it and I thought I had eaten it like just like I th I'm fine like I'm I'm actually fine like my energy is fine everything through prep is going smoothly everything's fine but apparently 
I keep getting prep brain. Like yesterday I kept on doing it at work. I kept on ripping off the receipts off the till and putting them in the drawer instead of the bin. And at the end of the day, I opened the drawer and there's a drawer full of receipts instead of a bin full of receipts. So little things like that I keep doing and it's so bad. But yeah, apart from my stupid prep brain. Check-in was today again. Um, obviously I updated you guys yesterday my eight weeks out mark and I'm now seven and a half weeks out so and coach is really really happy I lost 0 0.7 kilos this morning which is like just over a pound and he actually wants me to do an earlier show than body power so body power is on the 12th of May I think um well it's that weekend anyway and he wants me to do an earlier show possibly and so I'm actually thinking about it but I don't know like whether or not to because the way I'm looking at it is I could rush and do an earlier show and maybe not be ready for it or i'd rather just do body power and look my best for it and look the greatest i ever have and i'd rather do that than kind of rush rush something to do an earlier show so but then also again because it's a ifb pro qualifier the way i look at it is i could possibly potentially get my pro card at the show so I'm like, I really don't know what to do. So I'm really unsure on what to kind of go for. Um, this show is the Denmark show. It's like a week before Body Power anyway. So I technically will be ready for it anyway, but it's a lot of money like to kind of pull out all of a sudden as well. So I'm not too sure whether I'm gonna do it or not, but I'll let you guys know obviously if I do do it or not. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Like he's really happy with how I'm looking and like, this is what coaches should be like. He's really like pushing for me and he's like, I believe in you that you can get your pro card like this year, which is really, that's my main goal obviously this year with competing and it's really cool for my coach to obviously think the same and like believe in my dreams as much as I, and as much as I believe in mine. So that's really, really cool and I love it. So yeah, but I'm gonna leave this video here. This is pretty much me a video of talking like constantly all the time. I am loving, by the way, seeing your post. I actually love seeing your hashtag know your own ability posts on instagram because it's so cool to see you guys like lifting heavy like killing your goals like all of that and we're almost at 100 posts so that's i think that's really cool i know it's like nothing big but i love it like i love seeing you guys pushing yourselves as hard as i am pushing myself so thank you so much for watching i love you so much all of you please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next video love you guys so much see you later